Got an MS361 here that, that I'm working on. Here's the coil. Apparently there's a rev limiter into these coils. So it's a fairly new saw from last year. And that high rev, it just won't go. It just won't even rev beyond like 5,000, let's say, RPMs. So I've checked everything else on this saw, absolutely everything. <clears throat> and a few friends of mine, <clears throat> excuse me, who are mechanics as well, figure it's the rev limiter in the coil here. So what I'll do is I'll put the coil back in. I'll start it up and show you guys just what it's doing. And then I'll replace replace that coil with the brand new one. So I've got the coil in and between the magnet and the coil you want about the thickness of a playing card. You don't want it too far from the magnets and you don't want them touching the magnets. So just enough for it to go through like that. So what I'm using here is a Torx uh, wrench number 27 for those screws just so you know. So I'm just going to finish up putting on the recoil. Okay, so I've got it ready to go try out. So the coil does provide spark, but as I mentioned earlier, the rev limiter in the coil prevents it from revving where it should. Even when it's under load, it does the same thing. So I'm going to take it outside right now and I'll let it warm up, then I'll show you what it's doing. So it's been warmed up for a while there and I'll show you what it's doing. So what I'll do is I'll replace the coil, I'll make another video to show you the difference. Here's a brand new coil, I've just put it in. I put the space between the magnet and the coil approximately like a playing card. So you might be able to see a bit there. And the Torx wrench number is number 27. So I'm just going to slap her back together and we'll try it out and we'll see if the rev limiter was a problem. All right, we're ready to start it up. We'll see if that new coil fixed the problem. I'll just give it a pull there and show you how she runs. So I can get full speed now out of it. It's not winding down like it did in the previous Anyway, so you can see that a coil can be defective, it can work at low speeds, but not at high speed. So the rev limiter in this coil had gone defective, it was very confusing. It almost seemed like there was a bad bearing or bad crankshaft or something like that. But I took a chance, put the new coil for 90 bucks Canadian, and the saw is like new again. <laughs> 